All right. Now, if the markings on the spoon are still clearly visible, that's good. But if they've rubbed off a little bit, you might want to redo them a little bit. And I might just round off the end of this spoon a little bit too. cut out the shape of this spoon and you need to have yourself a coping saw. Now you've got to ensure that the blade is on the right way and the teeth should be facing forwards. This one's in backwards. So to undo it, undo the handle like so and it increases the amount of gap in the middle. If you don't hold this centre piece when you unturn it that'll twist and that blade will snap. Okay, You have to hold it, undo it if you've got a new one, you can put it in. Make sure that blade's going around the right, right way. The teeth should be pointing downwards when you hold it up like this. Pop it in. Drop that handle. And it's not tight until it stops. You do it up until it stops itself. Okay, you'll notice there's no more gap in the inside of the saw and it's ready for sawing. Make sure these two pins are nice and straight and parallel with each other. <laughs> now when I'm cut cutting you'll notice that I'm using the full length of this blade. Okay, a lot of students when they cut Cutting like that. Now that increases the chance of snapping the blade, it increases your workload, you've got to push a lot harder and it just doesn't make the job easy. If I use the full length of the blade I can cut very quickly. the end here to stabilise the piece of timber. That means it's going to cut around easy. You just have to make sure your hand is not in the direct root of this saw blade. And as well, if that blade snaps, is the saw going to smack you in the hand? Okay, you've got to be careful of these things. <laughs> any more of this end right now because what could happen is the spoon could snap right at the neck of the spoon. So I'm going to move it around, put it in close to the work and start again. Okay, you now should be able to see the rough outline of the spoon. That's now ready for me to use the rasp on it to get it nice and round. If I was going to sand this now, it would take me a lot of time to get this smooth. So the rasp is going to save you a heck of a lot of effort.